With the unveiling of iOS 12 at Apple's WWDC, Craig Federighi mentioned their focus on performance with this new OS update. The iPhone 6 Plus was set to launch up to 40% faster with up to 50% faster keyboard display and up to 70% faster shift to the camera. Under load, the same iPhone is launching apps up to twice as fast. Additionally, the CPU ramp up speed is increasing across not just older devices, but also the newer ones as well. With that said, a lot of us are Apple enthusiasts using newer devices like the iPhone 8 and iPhone 10. So we decided to pit Apple's flagship running iOS 11 against one running the first developer beta of iOS 12 and see what kind of performance improvements we can expect. We started with turning on both phones with the iOS 11 device starting up quite a bit faster. After that, we moved to Geekbench 4 with all other apps closed. Both apps launch at the same exact time. Benchmark scores can improve with even incremental iOS updates, so we were extremely surprised to see that the results came in incredibly close. Running the GPU test, this time we see an improvement of over 20% testing out Metal. Moving on to our app suite, we started off testing some games. Fortnite launched slightly faster on iOS 12, but not enough to make a difference. Pokemon Go launched more than a second faster, and Vainglory launched over 2 seconds faster. Moving on to some native apps, news was about the same between the two phones, along with stocks, voice memos, and iBooks. Zillow was close, and our own Apple Insider app was slightly faster on iOS 12. Amazon Prime Video launched about 2 seconds quicker with iOS 11, with Google Drive firing up at about the same speed between the pair. Testing a few more native apps, TV launched almost instantly on iOS 12, where it took 3 seconds on iOS 11. Maps started slightly faster with iOS 12, and Photos was about the same on both. We then wanted to test RAM management, so we relaunched each app to see if iOS 12 would keep more apps open. It turns out both OS versions kept each app in the background and launched them just as quickly. So far, we're really impressed with iOS 12. Not only is it quicker in many apps, but we're also seeing an improvement using Metal. Typically, when Apple releases a beta of an upcoming iOS release, it's quite a bit slower and then gets faster until the public launch. It's great to see the first developer preview working so quickly, and we're excited to see iOS 12 launch this fall. We're also working on an iOS 11 versus 12 speed comparison using the iPhone 6 and iPad mini 2, so if you're tired of the slow performance you got after upgrading to iOS 11, you don't want to miss out on that video, so make sure to subscribe and enable those notifications. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.